Hello everybody, so this is the last video about the astrological star signs and this one is about Virgo. Virgos are people who the phrase still waters run deep was made for. These are people who are quite introverted, fairly undemonstrative and quite introverted, very quiet. Um, <clears throat> but there's a lot more going on underneath the surface as we will see. They're very interested in people, all things personal, and have a really good understanding of human nature and the way that people behave and interact. So <clears throat> they're quite, I say, still waters run deep. They may not say a lot, but they have a really good understanding of what's going on. So let's see about their positive traits. They're very meticulous. These are people who, for detail, means everything to them. And it doesn't matter how big or how small the issue is. It can be the tiniest, tiniest little thing. But if it's not right, it's going to bother them. So they're going to make sure that all the boxes are ticked. You know, everything is how it should be. And that makes them feel happy. They are incredibly intelligent. They have a really, really good interest about the world and about the people within it. And they're really kind of hungry, almost, to find things out. So they're always looking for the next thing, the next challenge, the next interest. Um, they're quite practical. They're not very concerned with kind of living in a fantasy world or living in daydreams. They are people who are very down to earth and are going to get things done. And it really is one of their biggest strengths is that how in touch they are with reality and how down to earth they are. You know, as an earth sign, these are not people who are going to spend time up in their heads thinking and planning and worrying and overthinking these are people who are going to get things done and be very in touch with themselves and with the world around them and um, they're very analytical although they don't spend a lot of time up in their head um, <clears throat> you can trust them to follow an instruction if you tell them what to do then they're going to get on and do it and because they're so rational they're not going to allow their emotions to affect the task at hand. It's almost like they're programmed, you know? So you could say to a Virgo, go in, <coughs> type up this and print, print 20 out and send them around. And it doesn't matter if they're tired or upset, you've given them a task to do, so they're gonna go and do it. And you can trust them to know that it will be done. So it's a very strong point for them. And that goes along with that they are very reliable you know you can depend on them you can lean on them and you know that they're gonna do the job that you've asked them to do um they're quite modest though you know these aren't people who are gonna blow their own trumpet and um you know really sing their own praises they will achieve because they're so goal orientated and perfectionists but they're not going to boast about it so they may do something amazing but you know they're not going to go and go, look at me, I'm amazing. They, you may actually not realise what they've done at first. You know, they're not going to come to you and tell you, you have to find out for yourself. So that's their positive qualities. In terms of their negative qualities, which we all have, of course, they can be seen as being quite overcritical. Inside their heads, they have a very clear image of how things should be done. Okay, and because life doesn't work like that, you know, life throws up different issues and different things that we have to deal with. <clears throat> the, pit, the reality rarely meets up with the picture that's inside their head. So <clears throat> this can cause them to be quite overcritical and quite fussy and almost kind of become quite emotional about it. You know, they don't like it. It really bothers them that things are not the way that they plan them to be. Um, so that can really affect them in a very negative way. They're very fussy because they are so detail orientated that they kind of fuss to make sure everything's done and make sure that all the bits and pieces are right. So fuss, 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 fuss. And if you're not like that, then it can be really annoying. Um, but they're happy. It's like they have a checklist inside their head and they have to tick off all the things to make sure that everything's done. So the best thing you can actually do for a Virgo is let them get on with it, to give them the space and the peace, just to let them fuss and to let them know that everything's okay, because then they'll have greater peace of mind and they'll be okay then. 
if you try and stop them from doing their internal checklist, that's when they'll get quite moody and quite uh, emotional because <laughs> they can't cope. It's like it's not right in their head. Um, they're quite fastidious, fastidious, which I can never say, fastidious, um, because they're such perfectionists. Um, they're not people who are going to rush to get things done and hand in any old rubbish. They're going to make sure that everything's okay and everything is h how they want it to be. Um, and so, you know, they'll spend a lot of time in making sure that everything's good and everything's right. So it's almost overworking sometimes. <clears throat> they're quite harsh, or they can be quite harsh. They're going to call a spade a spade and they're not going to sugarcoat something to make it you know, easier to handle. <clears throat> they do have tact, but at the same time, if they're not happy about something, they're going to say it. Um, they're not confrontational and they're not aggressive by any means, but if they have an opinion about something, they don't see why they shouldn't say it. Um, and it doesn't always go down with those who they're telling it to. <laughs> if you're telling somebody who's more sensitive, then they may not be very happy with what they've got to say. Um, they're quite conservative in their um, morals and values and the way that they think about things. So they're not going to readily accept more modern ideas. And <clears throat> they need to kind of test things out and see how it works and see how everything fits together before they accept it. So initially they may not be able to accept a new idea, but if you give them the space to kind of work things out for themselves and see how it goes, kind of experiment and test it and stuff, and they're happy, then they will be okay. So it's all about having a bit of patience with the Virgo. Let them find their own way. And they can be quite judgmental at times. Um, because they call a spade a spade, they can't ignore something that they see. They can't ignore an opinion. So they're going to judge people on their own kind of set morals and values and their own standards. And they will tell you. <laughs> they will tell you their opinion. So, yeah. Virgos can be quite tough at times, um, but overall they are people who um, are not going to be spontaneously, you know, taking risks and doing daft things. They're down to earth, they're loyal, they're reliable, they're dependable, and, you know, once you kind of break through all that kind of outside stuff of being fussy and, and perfectionist and all that sort of stuff, they have the kindest hearts, they really do. They're very sensitive and very lovely people. So, yeah, all good. So that was the Astrological Star Signs, all 12 videos. I hope you found it interesting. I know I certainly have. And I will speak to you soon. Love and light.